We're going to talk about the weather, and uh, I'll be honest with you, the rain has kind of given me a little bit of a reprieve this week in that it's been too wet to do any mowing or weed eating. Oh, I think that's that, about to change. I was going to say, that excuse is over now, D.C. You right. have to head outside and mow that yard, right, David Carnes? Because uh, it is going to be nice this weekend. Well, a little hot, but other than that. Yeah, D.C., you're not going to have an excuse from the weather and uh, with all of your neighbors with torches and pitchforks approaching your house. You're going to want to get out there and cut your grass. Yeah, there's a petition going around, I understand. <laughs> you don't want to be the subject of that. No, uh, this evening you're actually going to be okay. Uh, 81 degrees right now in Chattanooga. We're going to cool it down to the upper 70s. It should be a nice, warm, maybe slightly humid evening, but partly cloudy. Overall, it's going to be fine. A uh, hot weekend ahead. We do get to the upper 80s tomorrow, upper 80s on Sunday also, and it's going to be dry with a sun cloud mix on Saturday, and then we are putting in the chance for some scattered storms moving in late on Sunday. So we'll go through all of that right now. Upper 70s and low 80s, a little bit cooler up in the Blue Ridge. You're flirting with 70 degrees. That's it. 74 in Altamont and light winds out of the north northwest right now. Quickly with the tropics, Brett is still expected to move through the Caribbean and fizzle out before it has a chance to impact any land that will take place south of Jamaica. Most likely tropical storm Cindy. It became a tropical storm. That's about all it's going to do. It will fade away north of the Bahamas, but south of Bermuda and well before it gets to the United States. Looking at our radar currently, not much going on. We did have some pretty decent little downpours down in parts of Gordon County down near LJ. We had uh, uh, some nice little showers as well. Uh, all of that moving out and nothing waiting in the wings. We get a sprinkle or two. I'm not going to literally a drop or two on the windshield, but for the most part, it's going to be a dry, quiet night for you. You can see a few light sprinkles off to our west. Most of those will fade away, but I'll put us at a 10% chance that one or two will make it into the Tennessee Valley. Uh, 8 o'clock, this is our future cast, and it's showing not much of anything coming through, so we stay dry with it. Moving into Friday uh, night and sat Saturday morning, I think we're going to be okay for the most part. We'll get a quick look at... Uh, let's see, our future cast is stalling there a little bit. We'll try to get through it. There we go. This is the one we're looking for. Through Saturday, we'll have some broken clouds. Don't expect much in the way of rain at all on Saturday. I'm not even putting a 10% chance in. It's just going to be hot and slightly humid. Not, uh, not horrendously humid like the end of August when we have dew points in the 70s, but dew points are in the lower 60s, so there will be a tinge of humidity to deal with. And then Sunday, we're looking great for the first half of the day. It's about 12, 1 o'clock. It's not going to be until 5 or 6 when we see this flare up ahead of this next front of some pretty decent storms. These would be strong storms moving through uh, by 6 o'clock and we could see some damaging winds, even some small hail and can't rule out an isolated tornado with these storms sliding through. The risk is low, marginal risk, one out of five on the risk scale, but it is still a risk and that's going to be the case through Sunday night and we may even see a few of those lingering into early Monday morning. This is 430 Monday morning, but by Monday afternoon we're going to see behind that front things beginning to clear out. That's going to set the stage for a few dry days heading through next week, the middle of next week. Tonight, partly cloudy, mild, nice, dropping into the low 60s, upper 50s in the mountains. Tomorrow, partly cloudy, again, mild and nice. 89 for the high. It will be a tinge humid, but overall, we're going to be okay. 87 Cleveland, 81 Murphy, 83 on the plateau, and 85 in Athens. And your storm alert, seven-day forecast. Have those storms moving through. Right now, I'll put it a 40% chance. We might up that a little bit over the weekend. Uh, looking at highs, staying near 90 degrees. Tomorrow, Sunday, into Monday, and no big change changes with our temperatures heading through next week. Notice again Monday late into Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. No rain, just hot. And then we see it 92 on Friday with a few scattered showers and thunderstorms possible late in the day.